I am very tired. I cannot run anymore. During the winter season, we do not sweat this much while running. You are right. And in the summer season, we sweat more. Yes, but why do we have seasons? <laughs> Let's go home, and I will explain all about this. You know, two things cause the seasons to change. First, the Earth moves around the sun. Second, the Earth has a tilted axis of rotation. I did not get it. Could you explain it in detail? Sure, come with me. See, this is a globe, a spherical model of Earth. This one is the North Pole, and this one is the South Pole. Imagine a line joining the North Pole with the South Pole. This imaginary line is called the axis. I know this. Our planet spins around an axis. Yes, you are correct. And the circular movement of the Earth is on its axis is called rotation. Because of this rotational quality of the Earth, you witness day and night. How is that possible? The reason is that different parts of the planet are facing towards the sun or away from it. When we are on the side of the Earth that is facing the sun, we have daylight. As Earth continues its spin, we are moved to the side facing away from the sun. And we have nighttime. It takes 24 hours for the world to turn all the way around to make a single day. I understand that the rotation of the Earth makes a day. But what makes a year? It happens due to the revolution of the Earth. Revolution of the Earth? What is that? The Earth rotates around the axis, but it also moves around the Sun in a fixed path, which is called a revolution. One full orbit around the Sun is one full revolution. Let me show you something. The Earth revolves in orbit around the Sun in 365 days, 6 hours, 9 minutes, which makes a whole year. Did you notice that the Earth is not sitting in a straight posture, but its axis is tilted? I didn't notice that. Come with me. I will show you something. Long, long ago, when Earth was a new planet, something big hit Earth and knocked it off kilter. So instead of rotating with its axis straight up and down, it leans over a bit. It's so surprising. This light tilt made one part of the Earth lean towards the sun, and the other part of the Earth is leaning away. There must be some significance of this. Because of this angle, the solar energy reaching different parts of the Earth is not constant, but varies during the year. When Earth's angle of inclination is towards the sun, it is summer in northern hemisphere and winter in southern hemisphere. When angle of inclination is away from the sun, it is winter in northern hemisphere and summer in southern hemisphere. So, technically, we only have two seasons. These are summer season and winter season. Hey, I can hear the sound of rain. Let's go out and play. Wow, I love the rains. You know, rainy season is the result of summer season. In summer, the water evaporated and forms the water vapor. And this vapor cooled and condensed and gives rain after they precipitated. Thank you, Jill, for explaining everything. You are welcome, Jack. I hope you guys also enjoyed watching this video. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.